Hello friends, welcome to our channel, What Does It Mean? Here I come with the last video of the series, Component of Food. Today, our topic is vitamin and mineral. If you have missed our previous video, then you can go to the description box and you will get all the links of the previous videos of the series, Food and Component. Kindly let us know in the comment section, what do you want to be seen next in our channel? So let's start the video. Vitamins and minerals. These are often called protective food. Now the question arises, what are vitamins and minerals? Vitamins and minerals are often called micronutrient because our body needs only tiny amount of them. They come into the category of protective food as they protect our body from foreign particles and strengthen our immune system also. Fruits and vegetables are the good sources of vitamin and mineral. But mostly, people often get confused, is the vitamin and minerals are same? So let me tell you the difference between these two. Vitamins are organic in nature, thus can be easily broken down by the action of heat, air or acid. On the other hand, minerals are inorganic in nature and can't be broken down. Vitamins are volatile. They get easily lost during the process of cooking, storing food and even by the exposure of air. That's why we need to be extra conscious while taking vitamins. On the other hand, minerals are easily taken by our body from the food which we are eating and through the fluids which we are taking. Now, let us know in detail about these protective food. First protective food is vitamin. Vitamin are of two types, fat soluble vitamin and water soluble vitamin. Fat soluble vitamin get dissolved in fat and get stored in our body like vitamin A, D, E and K. These are called fat-soluble vitamin. Water-soluble vitamin get retained in our body, so we need to consume them on daily basis. We need a regular supply of these water-soluble vitamin because they get easily flushed out from our body. Examples are vitamin C and vitamin K. Let us know about minerals. The body needs and stores large amount of minerals and these minerals are present in our body in large extent. There are some minerals which are required in large amount like sodium, calcium, potassium, etc. And they circulate in our body to ensure the availability of them in our body. But some minerals are required by our body in traces. Now, let us know about some important facts about vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals boost the immune system, support normal growth and development, and help cells and organs to do their job. Vitamin K helps blood to clot. You will find vitamin K in green leafy vegetables like broccoli and soya bean. To have strong bones, you need to eat food such as milk, yogurt and green leafy vegetable, which are rich in mineral. Vitamin C and B that your body doesn't use as it is passes through your system as lost. So you need a fresh supply of these vitamins every day. I hope you like today's video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and share with your family and friends. Thanks for watching. Be happy and be curious.